Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions with today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm working with Chief Architect Premier X12 still on my MacBook Pro. Today I wanted to show you how to quickly um, change uh, linked files in our layout pages. Let's get started. Yes, so I saved a new version of my model as version 2, and I've saved a new uh, file in my layout uh, file as version 2. So I was in version 1, did file save as version 2, but as you can see, layout uh, 2 is still connected to uh, the model of version 1. And I want to change version 1, uh, the linked version, uh, to version 2 of the model. I could go through every page and reconnect using, click on this uh, layout box and reconnect using this uh, child tool down here to relink the file. But since all of these are connected to mo the model version 1, I can do this cool trick here. I'm going to go to the Tools Layout and I'm going to click on Referenced Plan Files. So in my menu, Tools Layout Referenced Plan Files, I have set that up as part of my toolbar here. Click on this, Referenced Plan Files. Notice in this case, I only have one uh, file referenced in this layout version, or layout file. Uh, it could be that I have multiples. I've seen two or three at some time, and that's because I might have an existing conditions, I might have my new proposed file, and I might have a details file. You can have multiple files listed here. So anything that is currently um, version 1, Gildencraft existing version 1, I can change that and that would not change the any of the other files. This is specifically those um, layout boxes that are linked to this existing version 1. I'm going to browse and tell it I want that to connect to version 2 instead and click OK. You'll notice this changed, this floor plan changed, this floor plan changed. Now the elevations need updated. So I'm going to go to Tools, Layout, Update Layout Views, and I'm going to update. In my case, I, up, I only have plot line views, so update all views and all plot line views would do the same thing. But if you had, say, an, a live view such as a camera rendering or something, that could also change. Once again, I've got my um, toolbar customized to update all views again, and I'm going to click that, and that will update all of my elevations. Once again, I could have done this page by page, selected the elevation and the um, child tool down below to update the elevation, um, and we'll do that here in a minute because I just remembered I forgot to update my windows um, on this front porch. But doing it this way, I make one or two clicks and all of the elevations, all four elevations, update uh, as with, with one, one command. And then I just sit and wait for a second. As you can see, I need to update the window and the roof. So let's do that here. I've updated the model to, to have the correct windows and roof. Now I'll just select this elevation and we will, re, uh, up, we will update this view just manually by one one at a time. That's updated and my layout page is set. So uh, you can reconnect 
or relink the uh, layout files to a new model using this method. I've got mine um, set up on the toolbars. If you don't have that, you can go to Tools, Layout, Referenced Plan Files, change this, select whichever model out of one or multiples that you might need to be updating. Say you have a new proposed, the demo's the same, uh, but you have a new proposed model, and so you select the proposed model, you browse for the new file, tell it which file you want that to link to, click OK and OK. Then any up, um, sections or elevations need to be updated, go to Tools, Layout, Update, Update Layout Views. And I choose Update All Views. Chief Architect will run through its thing, and you've got it done. Hope that's helpful. Hey, always click like and subscribe, and you'll see the next video coming out. Take care.